Hello everyone, and welcome back to another GIS statistics lecture video. And in this lecture video, I want to walk through the results of a dredge. And I want to sort of talk through how this approach works. So in the previous video, right, we said that dredging was this idea of taking all of the variables that you think are important and mixing and matching them and doing this thing called the AIC Information Criteria, or AIC, to allow us to compare those different subsets of models to just sort of really get a strong sense that the AIC that we got um, reinforces the idea that our variables that we chose are the best possible combination of variables that we have. And again, you know, if you do all the homework, right, the, the, the pre-logical, you know, thinking through things, the scatter plots and correlation coefficients, and looking at the p-values and the um, coefficients of you know your first sort of exploratory model, you really should not have an issue with the dredging telling you anything that you didn't already know. But again, let's go ahead and take a look at the results of a dredge. So this, these are the results of a dredge coming out of R. And so again, right up here, this is just telling us what we have. So this is percent poverty, and I chose four variables. I chose rural, elderly, African American, and median income. And I ran those through what's called the dredge function, um, which we'll talk about in the um, in the R explicitly R version. But for now, I just want to walk through this table down here, and I want to talk about what the different parts are and how this works. Okay, so right now the models are ranked by AIC C. So this is corrected AIC. Um, this takes the AIC calculation that we talked about one step further to address issues dealing with the, um, the number of variables, right? Because if you go back and look at that equation, you might have noticed that adding or removing a variable changes AIC by a value of two just by default. And so you can have differing differences in AIC that don't actually have any meaningful difference between the models. You just change the number of variables by one. AICC corrects for that. Um, so that, for example, the difference here, even though it's really only a difference of 1.3, right, um, we can feel confident that this really is the best model. Versus if we were using regular AIC, right, because this difference is less than two, we would uh, we would be struggling through justifying that we're not getting a decrease just by adding another variable, adding another variable. And so the the thing we have to sort of look at here is the AIC here and the delta here. So the way that dredging has done this, right, is it has ranked them based on AIC. So the lowest AIC is here, the highest AIC is down here, and you can see the delta is the difference between the lowest AIC and whatever model we're looking at. Okay. And so to read this output, what you want to do is you want to look at the first model up here. And you want to see what we look at is the variables that were included. So if there's no number here, this means the variable was not included in the model. right? So for example, percent elderly was not included in this model. right? Percent African American was not included in this model. And then you want to look at the overall AIC to see what the delta is. All right, so in this case, right, our best model included all four variables, which again, if you've done your homework, this should be the result you're expecting to see. Um, but let's talk about how we actually go through the process of constructing this, um, this dredge. And the way that we do that is with something called forward feature selection. Right. And so the way that forward feature selection works is you start off with the simplest model that you can. And that would just be y equals b, right, where b is our intercept. Or beta naught, I should say. 
right? And so you can see over here where it has model, where it has model number, right? The first model that it tried is just the intercept. And you can see that based on the AIC, that was actually the worst model that we had, right? So let's see, what is, what is the second model that we tried? Well, the second model, right, because again, this column here is model number, right? The second model that we tried, let me grab a pen, right? The second model that we tried was this one right here. This is the second model. And so what it did was it included one variable, right? It included the first variable in the list, right? Then the third model, right, still only included one variable, but it included the second variable in the list. And again, these are in alphabetical order. Right. What did the third model? What, sorry. What did the fourth model do? Well, the fourth model, right, now included both of them. What did the fifth model do? It included the third variable by itself. So this idea of forward feature selection is you start with one variable, or you start with no variables, right? Then you add in one variable. test that out, then you add in, then you do two variables, right, test all those out, right, then you add in three variables, and you keep going, you keep going, right, you test out all the different combinations of one variable, all the different combinations of two variables, all the different combinations of three variables. So with forward feature selection, you're adding in a variable, testing all the combinations. Adding in another variable, testing all the different combinations. That's forward feature selection. Right? So that's how forward feature selection works. That's how dredging works. So dredging will start with the null model, which is literally just the intercept. Then it's going to add in each of the variables separately to see how that works. Then it's going to look at every combination of the two variables. Then it's going to look at every combination of three variables. And then it's going to look at every combination of four variables. All right, and we can confirm that, right? For beta naught, just the intercept, right? There's one model. Right? For every combination of four variables, that's four models. For every combination of three variables, right? That's, let's see, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? There's four options there. And then Y, right? And then obviously in this particular case, right? Beta naught plus beta one, plus beta two, plus beta three, plus beta four. Right, we have one model there. Right, so what about every combination of two? Well, there's median income and percent African American, there's median income and percent elderly, there's median income and percent um, rural, there's percent African American and percent elderly, there's percent African American and percent rural, and then there's percent African American and percent uh, or percent elderly and percent rural. Right, so there's let's see. There's five possible combinations, or sorry, six possible combinations there, right? And so if we add all these up, right, we get 16 potential models, right? We get 16 models. And if you look, right, that's the number of models that were tried. So that's the way that dredging works. It tries the intercept by itself, every combination of single variable, every combination of two variables, every combination of three variables, every combination of four variables, and then it ranks them based on which one has the lowest AIC, because again, the lowest AIC is the best model. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, and if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.